Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I did a little tutorial earlier today um, showing how I decorated the envelope flaps to coordinate with cards. And I mentioned in that video possibly doing another tutorial on these simple easel cards that May May made on her channel. She did a series, it was about four years ago, and it was four or, four or five videos long. Um, and I will link the video down below where she showed how to make these. Um, but these are something that are super simple and I think they're very cute and I've been making them pretty much the whole time I've been paper crafting. Um, but all you need is, and it's a really good way to use the four by four cut aparts that we get in our uh, paper kits and collections. Today I'm using um, the Here by Spring collection by Cartabella and I just chose this 4x4 from the 12x12 sheets. And then you also need a piece of cardstock that is four and a quarter by 11. So if you have an eight and a half by 11, you can slice that in half. Um, what I've been using lately is these 12 by 12, the pastel solids that I got at Michael's, the, all the colors in here just seem to perfectly go with several collections that I have. So, um, we'll go ahead and get started here. So you put your four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of paper in your scoreboard on the 11 inch side and you score it at four and a quarter, eight and a half, nine and a half and ten and a half so it's super simple it's four and a quarter eight and a half nine and a half and ten and a half and then you flip that over and you are just going to fold your first score mark there make sure and get it straight and even and then crease your fold and that pretty much makes the front and back of your card. Your four by four cut apart will go here on the front and then your sentiment or anything you wanted to write would go on the back. So the easel part is super simple as well. So you're gonna take this first fold, which would be the one you did it, I'm sorry, score, which you did at eight and a half. And you're gonna fold that one up and crease. The next score line here that you did at nine and a half, you're gonna fold down. It's kind of a little mountain valley fold here. Crease that fold as well. And then the last one that you did at 10 and a half is gonna turn this little half inch piece into your glue tab. So you're gonna fold that one up and crease that one. So basically you're gonna end up with your mountain valley fold looking like that and this is going to glue down here. So let me get my glue. Like I said, this little half inch flap here is gonna be your glue tab. So I'm just gonna put glue all over there and fold this part down. Get it straight and even here and then burnish it down. And that is your easel so it looks like that all right so on the front like i said your four by four will go right here on the front leaving a little um, eighth of an inch border all the way around let me get my glue i'll glue that down And I do like to use wet glue on these just to give myself time to line it up and get it straight. As straight as I can, of course. It's not going to be perfect. Okay, and get that good and stuck. And then you could stamp a sentiment or you know, use a sticker or an ephemera piece or just write your sentiment. I think I'm going to pull in the sticker sheet here. Maybe this April shower spring brings May flowers since we're kind of doing a spring theme card here. 
So I'll just stick that there and then have a place to write my sentiment and sign. And I mean, sometimes I further embellish these with, you know, a bow or something. I've got this little butterfly here. Let me see, I've got my hot glue gun. We'll just glue this on. Oops, if I can hold on to him there. a little dab of glue maybe up here in the corner and I like to kind of leave their wings up but just depending on your cut apart you might want to add you know further embellish you could embellish as much or as little as you want of course um, but what I do like about these I will tell you you could make a um, you know, four and a half inch square envelope if you wanted to, but they honestly fit in an A2 envelope just fine for mailing. Um, depending on your embellishments, they're really pretty flat. Um, another thing I like about them, if you do, you know, have friends or family member that like to display their cards, you know, they stand up like an easel on a desk or shelf or whatever. I think they're super cute. Um, and yeah, I mean, they're just easy, flat, small. Um, I've also made these in and put them in swaps and not even used an envelope. I'll have like my swap, you know, a box, my gifts, a shred or tissue or whatever on top and just lay the easel card on top. Um, but yeah, if you, um, another thing I do like about them is, you know, some cards, when you take them out of the envelope, they can be kind of complicated to see, okay, is this a pop-up or an easel? How am I supposed to do this? This one is pretty self-explanatory. When you look at it, you can pretty much tell this is an easel. This is going to stand up and, and sit wherever I want it. So there's lots of reasons why I think, you know, that's a good card, um, to have in our, our stash of, you know, things that we know how to make. I will definitely link my May's video below, um, and I appreciate you all watching, and I hope you're still having a good Memorial Day weekend, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.